from the Ukulele Orchestra of Great Britain and I'm here to tell you about my ukulele collection. It won't take very long because I've only got one and it's this one. It's called a, a ukulele and it was uh, given to us all uh, on one of our tours of China and it's called the Genius Edition because the sound hole is the shape of a light bulb and it's got a light in it ah, for when you have those great ideas. So, standard soprano. And, uh, well, that's it really. Uh, so now I'm going to talk about bass. I'm just waiting while uh, everybody swipes left or turns off uh, so that there's only you three bass players there still watching. So this is the bass I currently use on stage at the Ukulele Orchestra. It's a, a custom built by Stevens Guitar custom guitars in Munich. Um, it's called a U-Bass. Uh, he, in fact, was the first person to call this size of instrument a U-Bass. You might have seen on a few of our older videos, I was using a much lar larger instrument. That was uh, by Crafter and uh, also another one by Tanglewood. Uh, at the time, it was long before these were actually invented, and so the only acoustic bass available were the acoustic guitar sized basses and uh, some people called it a bass ukulele had four strings after all some people called it an acoustic bass guitar but yeah only had four strings not six so i just called it uh, an acoustic bass and i happened to play it with a ukulele orchestra and the ukulele orchestra i suppose uh, but this one is what i use now uh, back and sides are um, called uh, Blackwood, which is uh, kind of Tasmanian koa. Um, and the neck is mahogany, uh, ebony fingerboard, um, and the pickup inside is passive fisherman, and I'm using metal strings on it. Uh, they're uh, silver wound around uh, nylon. And uh, yeah, this is what I use um, I am here in Germany uh, where I'm locked down. I do have another one of these in England, in my rooms in England, uh, which is pretty much the same except it has a cutaway here. Uh, it's the top is spruce and the back and sides are rosewood. But uh, yeah, pretty much uh, that's it. And that's what I use uh, in the ukulele orchestra. Now I thought, as I only have this one bass, and there's only you bass players watching. You might be interested uh, if I took you uh, for a cheeky Nando's, uh, as it were, around my other basses that I used to use before the ukulele orchestra. Um, I've got a few of them I can show you. So I suppose uh, I'll be doing what you might call a bit of bass jumping. <laughs> Oh dear, sorry. Um, so this one, uh, it's a Hofner uh, Club fi uh, 500 Contemporary Series. It's um, around 2005, uh, spruce top and uh, the back and sides are maple. Fingerboard is uh, Yatoba, which is a kind of Brazilian cherry wood. Uh, and it's got an ebony bridge which is very interesting. And it's great for the uh, mellow tones. This is for my kind of rock and roll mellow tones. I'll just get my rock and roll hat on, wait a minute. Yeah, some a bit of rock and roll. Yeah, so, uh, beautiful old thing well it's retro old uh, 
but I love it. And if I ever do any rock and roll gigs, that's uh, that's what I do. And that's what I use. But because it's got such a mellow tone, um, you can use uh, use it for reggae as well. I've got a very thin neck, but hang on, I'll just get my, my reggae hat on. Wait a minute. course um, it has all the different tone settings to make it sound like that uh, Paul McCartney Hofner violin bass this is Hofner after all so a bit of um, a bit of McCartney now uh, That's the lovely Hofner. Next one is, what shall I use now? Uh, ah yeah, I'll show you the number two. I call it number two because all the others I've got now are Fender Precision, uh, Fender Jazz. <laughs> um, and this is my number two because I've got a number one, which is a, a beauty, but when I was flying around before with other bands, before the Ukes, I uh, didn't really want to fly that one around anymore because it's uh, rather old and lovely and valuable, worth an awful lot of toilet rolls. Uh, but this one, this one uh, was made in Mexico in Ensenada, I think, uh, 04, 05, Fender Jazz, a general all round, general purpose bass you can play all sorts of things on, on this, um, all sorts of poppy things. Is it on? Yeah. Um, do some pop. good for rock. Hang on. can slap on it of course hang on yeah that'll do uh. yeah enough of that haven't done that for a while and uh, yeah it's uh, beautiful um, Mexican Fender Jazz. So next up we have, oh, it's all too technical. There's the roadie. <laughs> next up, ah, this one, yeah. This is also Fender Jazz. This is uh, made in Japan, uh, 94, 95. Uh, maple neck, rosewood body, all the others are maple neck, rosewood body, uh, maple neck, alder body, 
ro rosewood fingerboard. This is uh, same, except I believe it's a little bit lighter. I think this is probably base wood they were using in the mid 90s on the uh, fretless. This is a fretless one. Um, this is fretless is really good for uh, expressive stuff. Um, uh, hang on, get my fretless expressive hat on. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, For, for that kind of thing. Um, you can also be a little bit funky on it. one which is what I call the number one or my first wife <laughs> which is my lovely old Fender Jazz again older body maple neck rosewood fingerboard this is my 1966 beautiful first wife uh, and well this it's from the 60s and you play 60s music on it, it just sounds marvellous. Um, so what shall I do? 60s. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I know. Do a bit of Motown, a bit of Motown hat on. <laughs> um. shuffles yeah um, uh, big fan of Stevie Wonder flat oh just a second were traveling around the world world the world uh, I used to travel around Europe playing with various different people playing in different rock bands and soul bands and all sorts of stuff and uh, there we go um, oh, a bit more Stevie then uh, to play out on
safe uh, and stay at home that's what they're doing in Germany stay at home um, stay safe stay at home see you on the other side thanks a lot bye <laughs>